Hello. Now this is Sekelo once again. Na leo tunaenda kujifunza topic inaitwa unemployment kwenye principles of economics. Now, sasa katika unemployment inatakiwa tujue maana ya unemployment type C eh, effect. Sasa kabla tujaenda mbele sana tuanze moja kwa moja na what is unemployment? Unemployment ni kitu gani? Mm, ukosefu wa ajira ni nini? Unemployment is a situation whereby people who are willing and able to work lakini wao katika working age cannot find job. Kwa hiyo ile ni ile situation ambapo watu ambao wapo tayari kufanya kazi na wana uwezo wa kufanya kazi na wapo kwenye umri wa kufanya kazi. Wana wakitafuta kazi hawapati kazi au hawana kazi ndio inaitwa unemployment. Kuna aina ngapi za unemployment? Types of unemployment. Unemployment ina types nyingi. Ya kwanza ni seasonal unemployment start structural unemployment kuna frictional unemployment kuna casual or elastic unemployment kuna cyclical or demand deficiency unemployment kuna disgusty or hidden unemployment kuna residual unemployment sasa tuanze na moja baada ya nyingine tujue hii ina maana gani hii ina maana gani starting with seasonal unemployment nini maana ya seasonal unemployment seasonal unemployment it is It is an employment which is caused by changes of season typically affecting the, the 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 peoples or the people who deal with agriculture activities ko typical typical in affect what on deal na agricultural activities ko hii ni aina ya unemployment ambayo yenyewe inakuwa caused by changes in the season ni kama vile msimu wa mvua na jua ko wakati wa wakati wa mvua watu wanakuwa na ajira Wana, wanaweza kuingia shambani wakalima wakabadilia si na nini wakati wajua wa kali mwezi wa kumi, mwezi wa tisa yule yule mtu anakuwa hana ajira kwa hiyo inaitwa seasonal unemployment wakati type nyingine ni structural unemployment what is structural unemployment structural unemployment it is an employment which is caused by mismatch mismatch between the job opportunity and the skills of the people hii ni pale ambapo mtu yeye ni mwalimu lakini ajira zilizopo ni za uhasibu. Kwa maana yake skills aliyonayo uh, ni tofauti na ajira ile hapo. Mismatching between the job opportunity and skills. Kwa ana ujuzi wa kufundisha lakini ajira zilizopo ni za uhasibu. Hii inaitwa structural unemployment. What about friction unemployment? Oh such unemployment. Friction unemployment. This is unemployment which is caused by moving from one job to another kile kitendo pale mtu ambapo anahama kutoka kazi ajira moja kuja ajira nyingine kwa mfano alikuwa mwalimu sasa anataka kuhamia kwenye uhasibu ule muda ambao ameacha uhalimu na bado hajapata uhasibu pale katikati kina ile 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 unemployment inaitwa inaitwa frictional unemployment or such unemployment pale ambapo anahamia kazi nyingine inaitwa frictional unemployment what was what about casual or elastic unemployment uh, casual unemployment This is a day to day unemployment or short time economic activities. Uh ikayo or elastic unemployment ni ile ambapo mtu anakuwa na ajira kwa muda fulani, afu muda fulani anakuwa hana ajira. Kama vile uh, ajira za ujenzi, mtu amejenga barabara mwezi huu, mwezi ujao barabara ishaisha basi hana ajira. Au tualism. Yeye ni yeye tualist guide, mwezi huu ana ana, ana, ana matualist, mwezi ujao hana so vitu kama hivyo hapo inaitwa casual unemployment nyingine ni cyclic or demand deficiency unemployment demand deficiency unemployment this is an employment which is caused by shortage of demand uh, a lack of aggregate demand unakuta 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 labda wewe ni ni, ni, ni doctor lakini ikatokea kwamba sasa huna wagonjwa uhitaji wa huduma yako hauko tena. Yes, wakati ule wakati ambao huna kazi inaitwa cyclical or demand deficiency. Nyingine ni disgust or hidden unemployment. This is an employment which occurs when the marginal contribution of workers is zero or negative. Hii ni pale ambapo mfanyakazi akuwa ana muda mwingi wa kupumzika mtu ni mtu mtu labda ni mwalimu awachana na walimu 
kazi ya kufanya masaa watu kufanya 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 watu labda mtu mmoja wamepewa watu wawili kwa ile kazi ya IP imaliza kwa anakuwa na muda mwingi wa kumzika ule muda ambao wafanye kazi ile inaitwa disgust or hidden unemployment ni ni unemployment ambayo imefichwa kwenye employment yani hidden imekuwa hidden mtu anaonekana kama na kazi lakini muda mwingi anakuwa afanye kazi inaitwa hidden unemployment residual unemployment ni kitu gani hii ni unemployment ambayo yenyewe inakuwa cost uh, oh, it, it is due to disabilities ni pale ambapo mtu labda anatamani kufanya kazi fulani lakini yeye ni kilema eh, hana mkono eh, labda hana kiungo fulani kwa hii inaitwa residual unemployment sasa baada ya kuona tunaangalia types tuangalie what are the causes of each type of unemployment nini causes of unemployment au what are the causes of each type vivote vita kusema what are the causes of unemployment ya kwanza ni general causes of unemployment general causes of unemployment ya kwanza ni changes of season au climatic change ndio ile ambayo tunasema hii ina cause ina cause season of unemployment lack of skills lack of skills ndio kama ile ambayo tunasema yenyewe kwa ni, ni, ni structural unemployment mtu huna uwezo kufanya kazi yani huna skills ya kufanya ile kazi ambayo ipo technological change technological change inaweza due to inaweza ika cause kitu kinaitwa kitu kinaitwa uh, discussed uh, discussed unemployment or hidden au cyclical hiyo technological change kwa mfano technological te, technology inaingia baadhi ya watu walikosa ajira walifukuzwa kazini kwa sababu sasa zile kazi ambazo walikuwa nazifanya zimeanza kufanywa na computer kwa hiyo technology na cause of employment lakini lack of capital mtu anashindwa kujiajiri kwa sababu hana mtaji wa kutosha nyingine ni population pressure au overpopulation overpopulation inapokuepo kuna watu lazima watakosa ajira kwa sababu watu wanakuwa ni wengi kuliko ajira zilizopo ya mwisho ni disabilities disability ndio hiyo tumesema inakuwa inakuwa ina cause residual unemployment ambapo residual unemployment and employment tunasema yenyewe hii inakuwa due to disabilities baada kuona hivyo sasa tuangalie effects of unemployment na unemployment na negative effect and positive effect sasa kwa kwanza na negative ya kwanza kabisa ni decline in the national income pale ambapo mtu anakuwa hana ajira basi anakuwa hawezi kuchangia pato la taifa kwa hiyo ni effect ya kwanza increase in dependence ratio or rate watu wanaanza kuwa wengi wanakuwa tegemezi sasa wanakuwa na kutegemea kwa mtu fulani ambaye ana ajira. Kwa hiyo na increase dependence rate. Nyingine ni decline in savings. Mtu hawezi ku save wakati hana pesa. Decline in saving. Hawezi ku save wakati hana pesa. Images in social evils. Mtu kama hana hana ajira. Kwa hiyo tu vile tu. Wengine wataanza kuwa prostitute. Wengine wataanza kuwa wakabaji. Kwa hiyo images in social evils. Images of classes of rich and poor. Wenye ajira watakuwa rich sana je anakuwa kuwa kwa classes in society that is negative effect another increase in government burden and provision of social services so serikali inakuwa ina mzigo mzito sababu watu wengi hawana ajira na hivyo social services nyingi wanakuwa hawajiwezi kwa vitu vyote vile kwa sababu hana uwezo wa kujilipia labda ada hana uwezo wa kujilipia matibabu na vitu vinavyofanana na hivyo what about positive effect of unemployment ya kwanza ni increase in working discipline kwa sababu watu wengi hawana ajira ambaye yuko kazini anafanya kazi kwa nidhamu ya hali ya juu asije kafukuzwa kazi kwa sultani kuna watu wengi hawana ajira lakini nyingine ni increase in labor supply mm. watu kwa sababu ni wengi hawana ajira basi wafanya kazi wanakuwa ni wengi supply ya watu wafanya kazi inakuwa ni kubwa what is possible with architecture nyingine ni mary for demand for inflation tunapokuwa na, na unemployment vivute vile kwanza what is demand pull inflation demand pull inflation nasema this is an inflation which is caused by higher demand pale ambapo demand inakuwa iko juu demand ya bidhaa kwa kitu ile demand pull inflation has got okay mfumuko wa bei kwamba watu wana pesa wengi wana pesa sasa kwa watu wengi wana pesa bidhaa ni chache kuliko watu walio watu walio bei zinapanda sasa hii kuli hii kuli ili kusolve tatizo hili watu wanapokuwa hawana ajira hii tatizo inaweza ikawa solved kwa sababu wanakuwa hawana pesa sasa kununua zile bidhaa. Kwa pesa zitatosheleza watu waliopo 
kwenye market na baada ya hapo kwa kifupi sana kuhusiana na unemployment tunaishia hapo